Well, we don't have to wait too long. The Recurve Women's semi-final number one here in Paris. Stage three of the Hyundai Archery World Cup is upon us. Let's go down to the range. On target number one, representing Chinese Taipei, Hong Jiamao. On target number two, representing the Republic of Korea, Jamie Soon. The line judge for this matchup is Maki Nakan. So we're ready to go. Peng Chiamao from Chinese Taipei is the 2015 World Youth Champion at 25 year old and 43 in the world. This is Choi Mi Sun. Well, as soon as I say it, we switch over to Peng. Uh, Peng is up against Choi Mi Sun, a 25 year old world number 13, an Olympic gold medalist from Rio 2016 in the team competition. The set system on the 70 meter range, the Olympic discipline of recurve archery. Three arrows per set per archer, all self-contained, and it's Choi Mi Sun to get this semi-final underway. No. As we're on recurve, Sunday it's the best of five sets. Each archer's gonna shoot three arrows alternating between them. High score wins a set. Winning the set, you get two points. They draw at one point and six set points to take the win. No. Super quick and a very high standard set here. We expected good scores with the conditions looking so strong and that is a cracker to finish off for a 29. 10 required to share the points and a 10 is scored. 29 apiece means they're all square within this first set and it's a single set point each but what a standard they've set at the beginning here Nikki. Yeah straight in there like you have to be in this set system you've got to be straight out the gate getting the points you need especially um, against the Korean like Mi Sun I mean she's an amazing archer um, and what a first set. Conditions as well, uh, looking good. They are actually just having a quick measure of, uh, I think they'll probably have a measure of uh, three hours. This one on the two in the Chinese Taipei target. That one is good. So just wait for confirmation of the scores here. Let's take a look back over there. But the conditions are spectacular here. A bit, bit bright, maybe? Yeah, conditions are good. Um, the sun looks like it's moved around a little bit, so it's not directly perhaps in the archer's eyes just now, which is better than this morning. Looks a little bit more shaded, but the wind does seem to be coming up a little bit. It's been coming in from the right to left, and when we look down the range, you can see the movement on the windsocks down there. So that'll be interesting this afternoon, whether it varies. Well, a fabulous uh, start to this match. 29's confirmed for both the archers. So it will be Choi to shoot first again in set number two. Remember, they're going after a target of six set points here. Women's recurve, semi-final number one here in Paris. No. Oh. <laughs> No. Good grouping there, just out to the right though, need to make an adjustment. <laughs> Great adjustment there from Peng. And another great score, 28 for Choi. Another 
10 there for a 28 for Peng and nothing between these two. I thought that eight from Peng was going to open the door for Choi, but it, it didn't. She recovered with two tens. Yeah, she did really well there to get straight back in. You know, eight I don't always kill you. You shouldn't be afraid of shooting an eight. Occasionally they come up, but if you can follow up with two tens, then you've got a fair chance of taking some points. There is Peng's target. Take a look back. That little lever, the white part of the bow, is the clicker that Nikki refers to. The archers pull through, and that's a, like a signal, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a draw length indicator, which means the archer's always pulling to the same uh, amount, which means the power going into that arrow should be the same. And it also adds, uh, works as a bit of a subconscious indicator as well. Two set points apiece in this semi final between Peng and Choi. Choi from Korea shooting first again. A bit of an uncharacteristic low one there, just looking back to the coach for reassurance. Yeah. Yeah. 10 puts this set out of reach for Peng. Yeah. Into the nine, which means another 10 from Peng, and we're still going to be all square. No. Drops it into the nine, so the first time we've seen clear air between these two as Choi Mi Sun goes 4 2 up. Well, Peng dropping an eight and two nines, not too bad, but Choi drops an eight in the middle and recovers back to a nine. That was a bit of an up and down set from her, but she still got the points. Yeah, it was. It was the first set that Choi has actually uh, opened up with a 10, and I thought she was just going to take that one straight away. But um, you know, when Peng dropped the eight, I thought it was over, but Choi then dropping the eight as well just shows there's always a little bit of room. You've got to fight to the end, keep strong. We've just got a replay of Peng putting something on her hand, wrapping herself up. Uh, I think that was, yeah, um, the front of the bow, so it's just a sling around the front of the bow so that the bow goes out of the hand, so you get a nice follow-through, just like tennis, so you follow through after the ball, you follow through after the arrow. So Choi has broken ahead here in this women's recurve semi-final. 4-2 up, so for the first time in the match, Peng will start this set. Set number four. Lovely quick timing straight into the 10. Good shot. No. Both those arrows just slightly left. You know, I wonder whether we're just getting a tiniest bit of wind through the venue. Yeah, and just as soon as you say that, perhaps because, because of correction, I would have guessed. You've seen that last arrow go left. And she's gone way too far right. No. Great finish to put some pressure on Choi. But Choi. Me son drops another eight into the mix. And just like that, we're back square again at four apiece, going into the fifth and final regulation set. Uh, uncharacteristic. 
Amazing. Absolutely, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. So it seems to be a bit of a common error there. Uh, Troy just dropping a little bit low. I wonder, sometimes that can be under pressure, just not committing to the shot enough, not putting enough power through it, and you just drop a little bit low, whether that's the case, I'm not sure. She had a little smiley, and there's that sling that we we're referring to. We saw, of course, Peng putting it on, but uh, very clear there with the yellow sling. Interesting process right at the beginning for uh, Peng as well. Eyes down, eyes closed as she starts the beginning of the draw. Do you think that's a bit of visualisation? Yeah, it may well be. A lot of archers do a lot of mental uh, processes before, during and after the shot. Set number five. The final of the regulation sets. Four apiece between Choi and from Chinese Taipei here. Peng. Visualization. A start. And no. Choi shoots first as they're all square. Peng to me just looks like her eyes look worried. She's got to attack this. Well, a ten, and this is done. And it's into the eight. And one left, one centre, one right. So, 26 provisionally. A 10 is an absolute must here for Peng. Oh, oh of course. She nails it into the 10. But now that second arrow from Choi, which is marked for a measure, becomes critical. If it stays a 9, we've got a shoot off. It gets marked up to a 10. And then the points all go to Choi Mi Sun. The Koreans target. Oh, Nikki, any thoughts on that? Now you've seen it. I think that one we zoomed into looked out to me, so I think we look like we've got 26 piece. Probably preparing for a tie break here. We'll take a look back over the set. That was Peng getting ready for her first arrow as Choi was shooting. Two eights from Peng at the start. This one looked like it was done and dusted. But as you can see, the targets are being replaced. The scores have been confirmed in that fifth set as 26 apiece between Choi and Peng. So the set point shared in three of the five. And those target faces are being cleared off. What can we expect now, Nikki? Well, we're going to go to that one hour shoot off. So Choi shot first in the match, so she will shoot first in the shoot off. And it is just closest to the middle. Sudden death. Well, the athletes prepare anxious moments. The winner goes through to the gold medal match, and of course, at stake here is a place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup final. All the winners go through to the season finale in Mexico. Win this and get a shot at booking your place. Choi's already got her place, though, so there's less pressure on her, maybe. A nine from Troy. Plenty of space here, but we've seen them shoot eights. Well, that is, well, whether it's a ten or a nine is 
of no matter or concern because Peng Chiamao is closer to the center of the target and she will go through to the gold medal match here in Paris.